Okay guys, so this video is gonna get into what to expect after you have gotten accepted into nursing school. My name is Ashley and I am a nursing student. So I'm fresh, okay? But I'm just now getting through the process of, so I just went from getting accepted into nursing school all through the transition into starting a school and I'm already starting so I'm gonna talk to you guys about the process before you start your first day of nursing school classes that's where I'm getting at so after you get accepted but before you start class that's a perfect yeah yes that's a perfect way to describe it I first want to congratulate all those that applied to nursing school and has gotten in or if you are pursuing nursing and you're taking you're being proactive and taking the steps to understanding more about the education the field the nursing field congratulations to you too for being so proactive and actually taking this serious and wanting more for yourself once you apply to nursing school you submitted all your documentations your, your testing requirements all that good stuff before getting a decision after you do all that you're going to get an acceptance letter whether through email or mail or both i got mine both ways through email and mail so that's going to be the first thing you're going to get like the very first step after you submitted everything to nursing school you're going to get an acceptance letter next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your FAFSA is on file. Do this beforehand, be proactive, get this out the way. Don't wait for them to tell you, don't wait for them to send you emails talk about you need to submit your FAFSA or submit your FAFSA. Just make sure you do this beforehand. So you're gonna go on the federalstudentaid.gov website. So make sure it's .gov. Make sure it says .gov because that's how you're gonna know it's the official and correct website. Okay, so once you have your FAFSA pulled up, once you start your FAFSA, they're gonna, there's gonna be a section where it's gonna actually put the school code. Make sure that you put down the correct school code because if you don't, it's not gonna send to your school. They won't have your FAFSA. They won't be able to tell you your financial aid and all this extra stuff. So make sure that you have the school code, you double, triple check, you make sure you tell someone, hey, come here, check this for me. Make sure that they see what you're seeing and that it's correct. Um, you don't have to be that extra, but I'm saying just make sure you double check to make sure that all the numbers are correct and they place in the, in the right order because you put, if the school code is one, two, three, four, five, six, but you put one, two, three, four, six, five, then it's like you switch to numbers. So just make sure you have that like all squared away before clicking submit. Cause you don't want to have to go back and edit that's extra work we don't want extra work we don't want any extra work we already have a lot of work to do to begin with so let's not do that you also want to make sure that you're going on your school's website and double checking to see what scholarship they have available for you if they do have any if they have any you want to make sure that you're checking them out reading the requirements and seeing if you can get a scholarship or two out of them you want to get the most money for your financial aid and for scholarship as well also don't forget to check websites that offer scholarship check tiktok videos instagram videos there's a lot of people who share resources on where to find scholarship for nursing school and you just have to scout around but if you want free money it's gonna cost you your time so definitely go and see if you can find a scholarship or two or check out your school's website for more information on scholarship and what they do offer so the next thing if you're coming in with transcripts make sure that all your transcripts are transferred if needed you want to make sure that you call to verify and you just want to double check what they import you want to check for your courses see if anything transferred see if anything didn't transfer and if any of your courses did not transfer you want to ask them why first and see if you can test out but some programs will allow you to test out in certain subjects and you will also want to study for these subjects as well because you don't want to just go in there blindly and then fail like you just waste your time so make sure you study and test out any courses you feel confident in testing out of next you're going to be signing a lot of documentations so be prepared to start scribbling away because you're going to have to but there's gonna be forms every every nursing programs have different types of forms and documentation that they are requiring you to sign to name a few the enrollment forms agreement forms as well code of contact forms so make sure you double check with your school to see what they have and read them thoroughly before signing anything make sure you agree with it and sign and just send them right back to make sure that they have them on file next thing you want to do is log in to your student portal because you're going to probably have access to this by now you're going to log into your student portal and start getting familiarized 
with the whole platform. Um, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with navigating, seeing where your course will be, if they have calendars, seeing the different features it has, and just clicking around to, and get a feel of where you'll be spending the next two years, basically. You also want to check out your university's portal, like, like where your courses are going to be. Before starting school, you also want to consider extra expenses. There's going to be things that you're going to have to come out of pocket for that a lot of people don't be prepared for, especially me. I wasn't prepared for certain things, such as getting CVR certified. You have to come out of pocket for that. If you have fingerprints, you're going to have to come out of pocket for that as well. I don't say this is for all my schools, but for some i've heard other people having to pay out of pocket for these things as well so definitely keep that in mind that this could possibly be you in a situation where you have to come out of pocket for certain expenses but you have to double check with your university your college your program to see if they do require you to come out of pocket or if they'll be covering it whatever it is you want to just keep that in the back of your mind that you might be coming out of pocket you will need to submit your immunization. Immunization is really important. They want to make sure that you're vaccinated and that you are able to go and start clinicals. They want to make sure that you're protected and that also that they are covered as well as a program because things can get hectic and serious. Like I mentioned before, nursing school would require you to be CPR, BLS um, certified. I want to make a disclaimer. I don't know if this is going to be required for all nursing schools. I'm just, I'm just talking about my nursing school and what they require from us. And I feel like a lot of nursing school will have similar expectations and requirements. So we have to be CPR certified. It's just part of the process, we just do. We also need proof of insurance. So if you have your own insurance, you can submit that and they probably drop the price a little bit from your tuition if you have that. If not, some nursing programs like mine have their own insurance that you can get. It's more pricey. So you might wanna scout around before just taking what they offer you. Um, but yeah, you're definitely going to need that. So if you don't have insurance, you might want to start thinking about that. You're going to do a background check. Mine was covered by my, well, it wasn't covered by the school, but they took it for my tuition, like my um, reimbursement. So I don't know if you want to consider that out of pocket or not, but it's still an expense, basically. A background check is definitely going to be needed. Be aware of that. Expect that to come. So a lot of nursing school has a student orientation for their students, their prospective nursing students. Be on the lookout for that. If you can attend, definitely attend. You will learn so much information. When I went to my student orientation, we went through a lot of information. It was, I think we had like orientation from like 8 to 12 and it was jam-packed with information. But the gist of it all, we went through what to expect, what is expected of us, how they'll be able to help us, what's expected during clinicals. We talked about IRDs and how that will work. We talked about parking. We talked about resources available to us. We talked about how to navigate through the building and finding certain classes that we will need for our success, such as the labs and where to get tutoring and where the study rooms are and all that good stuff and where to get snacks. And we also went over compliance videos and what's expected of us. And we just went over rules and regulations of the university. Student orientation is also great for seeing who you're gonna be spending the next two years with. You're gonna see a lot of your classmates. You're gonna just meet everyone who's coming in and starting at the same time you are starting. Definitely get a hold of people's information if you can. If you click with someone, don't forget to get their information because you guys can be study partners. You guys can help motivate each other. You guys can just get through nursing school together because it is hard. You're gonna need a companion, you're gonna need a partner, you're gonna need a support group, and you guys are gonna get through it. Just be open, be friendly, talk to people. Also, during student orientation for my program, they gave us the opportunity to take our pictures, our ID photos during student orientation. I did it because I wasn't prepared. I did it the second week of school because the first week it was down the system. So I took it the second week, but they do give you the opportunity. If you are ready to take it, go ahead and take it. After student orientation and your ID photos, you may get a campus tour. Maybe some universities don't, I don't know, but we did get a little campus tour. It's good to know the area and how your college is set up so you can know where to go. You want to know where the classes are, where the labs are. I know you guys are all going to graduate nursing school. So that is all I have for you guys for today. Hopefully you guys found this video super helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing content with me and my journey and also just giving you guys tips and motivation to help you succeed because I want you all to graduate and become the most caring and professional nurse there is. So 
definitely subscribe because it's going to be a roller coaster ride and I want to take you guys on this journey with me. We can talk, we can relate, we can connect. I want to make sure that you guys are on top of it.